On the edge of the desert of legends, once a venue for Old Testament miracles, a new wonder is taking shape. Nueva Mazena on the Sinai's east coast was a simple Bedouin fishing encampment. Until a whale-sized money spinner surfaced in this stretch of the Red Sea and Abdullah Mozena found it. 25 years old, partially deaf with a learning disability and only the skills of a poor fisherman, Abdullah had nothing. Until he stumbled on his remarkable ability to communicate with a dolphin. Abdullah calls her Olmi. She nuzzles noses with him, he gives her a tummy scratch. Dolphin experts are scratching their heads. It's odd for man and mammal to have such a relationship, but unheard of to be inseparable for four years. And there's no nets holding Olin here, just her attraction to Abdullah. I need Dolphin here. You pop it on there. Yeah, yeah, here. Give me 20. Yeah. I'm not giving you We're 20 shekel for that. Yeah, no, and Abdullah's that. family smiles as well. The popular view here is God sent Arlene to Abdullah Mozena for the making of an economic miracle in which all of them can share. If you want me, if you want me to buy, you'd be patient. No, 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 you'd be patient. And virtually the whole village is from the one family. Everyone down to the five-year-old bracelet makers, Abdullah's cousins and nieces, all Mazenas and all mobilised to cash in on the Western dolphin curiosity. Look, what you want? Please don't shout. What you want? This is good for a bit we hear from Nueva. It has helped, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Because this is here, you give him money, dolphin. And you go, dolphin, finish money, no money. You worry no about... Work. Yeah, no work. Why you work? Okay, thank you. Abdullah's cousin, Salama Muzaina, sells tours to dolphin goers. This supermarket, but not for Bedouin, for Egyptian. Uh, Egyptian come, huh? Give him supermarket here. It mightn't look like Miami style overdevelopment, but this is a Bedouin boom. With dolphin dollars, the Muzainas are building the restaurants, stores, even tourism statues, all on the back of Aline and Abdullah. Things have changed so much, Salama takes visitors wanting to see a genuine Bedouin village on an hour's drive through the mountains to an undolphinized valley. Mind you, most in Biri Zukur are also from the Mazena family. A lot of sugar. Mm. Here in the hills, you drink tea, eat bread, and listen to Bedouin legends like the story of Abdullah and Oli. Okay, yeah, very, very good. Mm, very good. These members of the Mazena family have never met their famous relative, but are grateful for the tourist spin-off he's delivered to them. The real treat for the visitor, a privilege only for those who pay the $4 gate price, is to join Abdullah as he meets Ali. It's a swim thousands have now taken.
There is some effort at control here, at protecting this unusual friendship. But for many who take a dip with the dolphin, the measures go nowhere near far enough. All day people come and try and grab her and they harm her, they make marks. You can see all day cars coming and going, the shouting, the arguments about money in the water, out the water is terrible. But all the arguments yeah. are about money and about yes. this. There's no Everything. arguments about if yes. you hurt the animal or you hustle no. the animal. They don't or care you... what you do with it as long no. as you pay. The video, Almania, Italy, Brenda, America, Australia, There's a rumour the Mazenas are trying to befriend a second dolphin, realising if Olene leaves or dies, the family's economic miracle will come crashing down. But for now, as long as Olene keeps coming to meet him, Abdullah will remain the most important man along this stretch of the Red Sea.